Sooner or later, I'd have to go out there and see what was happening. being famous as well as rich as the bad guys know who to kidnap. It was your typical trendy hellhole. A playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Poor bastard's name was Claudio. Ah, don't shoot, por favor! You stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop? Give me a break. Victor's political campaign was starting to come unstuck. This wasn't the time to be second-guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. Giovanna's necklace. Now I just had to find the rest of her. I had already wasted enough time. If I had any hope of saving her, I had to move now. Mr. Victor Bronco. For all his friends in high places, Our three million dollar man had locked the doors behind him. Wasting time, man! The smell in this place reminded me of how long it had been since I'd had any food. A drinker eats when he's loaded. Luckily for us, the blood money was still bleeding. This Hall of Fame before somebody added my face to the wall. Claudio, your golden boy. He'd sure picked the wrong party on the wrong night.
The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. It said exit above the door in big red letters. This old guy, my days of playing dress up were over. It was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least, looked like he was keeping an eye on me. It made for interesting reading. across the road to avoid. dangled something irresistible in front of them, and now, it was them who paid the ultimate price. The walking's gonna be good for your head. Looked like Passos had brought us to the right place. Just my own imminent cameo. They probably made their ransom notes from the same glossy magazines they used to select their victims. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. I could hear drilling through the wall. It sounded more like boat hull than bone, but I needed to be sure. Switch in that room. It seemed Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Serrano was reading his reviews. These were the floor plans to the nightclub, back into the other room. At least Fabiana was being eaten by mosquitoes instead of caimans. I might just bring her home. The guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. I never see the move to Brazil. I didn't have time to thumb through the old phrase book Portuguese. He held them pretty tight. 
They'd been keeping an eye on Fabiana from afar. It was a lot shinier than a favela, and rent would be easier to collect. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo. You don't want to burn, Max. I was in no state to save his body from the flames. Serrano, the man of the hour. Yet more thugs whose Christmas card list I wouldn't be on. Say what you want about these hoods. They knew more about branding than a Madison Avenue art director. Soccer had gotten Claudio away from the favela. Giovanna, charity worker. Passos had told me about this stuff. I was definitely in Commando Sombra territory. Detective Valerie Winterson. Nicole Horn's mausoleum. Vinny Gognetti.
didn't seem too concerned with meeting their arrest quotas. Fifty-five. I'd seen that number before. Man, I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. An army of paramilitaries and only my face made the front page. She was Victor's political nemesis and, in all probability, Sao Paulo's next mayor. Where are you going? Esto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. This was where Marcelo was supposed to be sleeping. He'd barely come down to this deck. Hazos had the name of the bar where I was drinking my life away. The bed was made. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. After I got out of New Jersey, things had flared up again between the Punchinellos and the DeMarcos. Whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone. Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee making the most of her considerable settlement. It didn't make sense. Why would they leave the jewels and rip open the walls?
Americans had a long and checkered history of involvement in Panama. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. Ufe, was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? Sosa's ID card. De Silva and I had the same fan club. It looked like Victor had won the sympathy vote. Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together. Starting to run out. I had to keep moving. Becker's blood money from the good doctor. AUP. Those were the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. Sao Paulo's own David and Goliath.
The CS were all but out of business in Sao Paulo, and suddenly Becker and Victor looked like local heroes in the war on crime. Back. Yeah, that's what you call it. Take care. Yeah. Judgment with a smile. You can't beat it. <laughs> 